What's going on guys? My name is Cal, Jailbreak Central, bringing you a top 5 tips and tricks video for the Mac OS X operating system. This is going to be the El Capitan system, the latest update from Apple. Um, these are going to be 5 of my favorite features that they've added that hopefully you will find useful. So number 1, cursor locator. If you know Sometimes you've got too many tabs open up on the screen and you can't find where your mouse is because it's so small. An easy way to find it built into the system is to just shake the mouse or wiggle your fingers on the trackpad and the mouse will momentarily become enlarged and then you can find it and continue using uh, your device. Number two is Expose. This one's pretty simple. Uh, there's a couple different features involved with this. You can see I'm actually switching between desktops here. Uh, this is uh, pretty useful. Basically all you have to do, double tap with two fingers on your trackpad or your magic mouse and it will basically throw all of the windows that you have open to the side so you can easily click on them and find them. Additionally, at the top bar you'll see there's desktop 1, desktop 2, desktop 3, and so on and so forth. You can actually create new ones with this button over here. But what this allows you to do is actually organize your workspace. So let's say that I want to have one desktop where I'm only editing. So I can go ahead and throw all of the stuff that I'm editing with in one window and then I can easily access that. Um, and it'll just be this window so there's not a lot of confusing clutter and other windows that I don't really care about. Now additionally you can switch between these desktops by sliding with two fingers left or right um, and this will basically switch between your desktops and lets you easily access different windows at different times. Another feature that is very useful is disk utility. If you go to spotlight search and type in disk utility it should be the first one that comes up. Uh, this they've completely redone. You can go ahead and see what is taking up storage on your device. You can see the capacity, what's used. Basically, it's just a trove of very useful information for keeping your Mac uh, clean and uh, allowing you to use more uh, more windows, stuff like that, so it doesn't get too slow. Another useful feature, if you go back to Spotlight Search by clicking the little search icon in the top right corner and you type for weather in your location, uh, you can just do weather in San Francisco. You can see that the first thing that comes up is actually the weather in San Francisco, California. It gives you times by hour as well as a 10-day uh, weekly schedule and you can see more on weather.com and that is what is powering these weather results so you know that it's pretty accurate. The last tip has to do with Safari. Uh, so if you don't use Safari, it may not apply to you, but if you do, this tip will certainly be useful for you. Uh, if you're watching a video in uh, YouTube or Vimeo or some other video player and you see in the bottom right corner, you'll actually see a new tab here, um, which is the little box with the arrow pointed at it. And if you click on that, um, you will be able to airplay that video to other devices such as your speakers in the living room or to a smart TV if you have one. Um, so this is a pretty useful feature to quickly switch from one device to another or hear it out of uh, different speakers. This is pretty useful. Uh, additionally, if you're playing a video and there's sound coming out of it, you will see uh, a little, uh, It's my computer's really slow right now, but you'll see a little uh, icon here uh, in the top right hand corner, the sound icon, and if you click it, you'll actually mute the video that you're watching or whatever tab, whatever sound is coming out of that tab, you can actually mute it, and this works for individual tabs as well. So this is a very useful feature, if, you know, if you're hearing sound you don't know where it's coming from, uh, just go ahead and go to your Safari tabs and you will be able to find out which tabs are playing music and uh, which ones you want to stop. So guys, that is the top five tips and tricks for Mac OS X. Let me know which ones you guys really enjoyed in the comments down below, which ones you think that I missed. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.